What's up, fam? It's your boy Black Action you. back at you. Another short video. Today I'm gonna talk about these hypocrites, YouTubers, hypocrites in the game. Everybody want me associated with something. It was a gang or organization or whatever, but really not into stuff. You know, I watch interviews on YouTube. These guys are coming out there about their affiliation with Bloods. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about the original GF boys, the Godfather boys. I ain't talking about them. We know they put in work. But all these other ones that's talking mess about, oh, I was blood, this and that. Who blood you in? Who brung you home? I like to know that, you know? Because dude say he blood, but he said he had a problem with a leader of a blood set. When they was locked up, he said he backed them down. So if you back down this leader of the blood gang, I'm sure they'd have ripped him, they'd have probably killed him inside there. But he says um he he did that, but I really don't believe him. I don't believe him. Anyway, this dude here, he always talk about how people be after him and uh, I'm getting death threats, FBI on me and all that stuff there. I'm like, what? So just now, you no, know, I'm at work, you know, I have a job, you know, I'm not on YouTube always. You know, I'm gonna have a job, so all of a sudden I saw something like on Google, so Hassan came out, oh, it's Poppy. So let me click on then, then. They have everything about the guy on the internet. Everything. Everything he says on there. He's implicating things, 187s, everything. He's wondering why FBI's on him. When you go inside there and say, some teenage dude, Bam allegedly molested, and the, the young boy stabbed Bam, and you say, Oh, I don't know what happened to him, but all I know I was supposed to be one of the hitters to hit him. So you're trying to say that this dude, you no, know, stabbed Bam, and Bam wanted this young man gone. And now, people don't even know where's this young man at. What's his name? Where is he? Huh? Who's the, the young man that um, Bam molested and got stabbed by? Where's the young man at? He might be dead. So this dude, he keep talking on the internet about things there. He gonna wind himself in prison. He was talking about he beat charges, about murder charges. He beat this and beat that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Like I said, I, I ain't seen nothing about no kind of murder one or second degree murder. You know, all I see was assault, a class C assault. Now is it. If you beat the, beat the murder charge, cool, you beat it. But maybe you shouldn't be if you did it. You know, okay? Most came on this gang stuff, how hard they are. You no. Know? on the internet with their little shirts on trying to show muscles things like that that don't mean nothing i tell you don't mean nothing they try to show you what they we make the pup and that stuff their arms just little they make the arms look big that's all it is you know these dudes trying to look muscle bound but they really fat boys you know but want to be hard everybody want to be hard everybody want to be a killer you know but they not you know they not we, we, when you're young you do a lot of young dumb things but now you get adults trying to man up act a man stop doing all this bull you know Always want to be affiliated with something, you know? Nah. If you ain't been banging for a while now, don't claim the banging stuff now because you ain't got no history in it. Like I said now, as far as, you know, if you wasn't been up inside the prison system and you put in work with them guys up there, the real ones, cool. I respect the other ones. I respect you little, like you call it dirty blood. I respect these dudes here. But anyway, back to this hypocrite dude. You know, he talk all this mess about how, what he do, how tough. I'm coming to Harlem to see, um... The Sinetta, 7 o'clock in the morning, things like that. I'm like, man, come on. I'm from Bronx River. I'm from this there. Gosh, I made a video about this guy last year. I said, man, he keeps saying himself about black people are weak or cowards. I was like, you shouldn't say things like that, you know? So it's not the first time I said something about the guy. I always said, like, you know, a positive criticism. Like, you know, I made a video saying he need to fall back, you know, chill out for a little bit, you know, get some help, go to psychiatrists, and come back. And maybe you can help these people, these molested victims out there. You can help them with some, with some good knowledge. But I see his game has changed. It started from being like he wanted to help people. Now it's behind him. Until now, they talk about any goddamn thing that come on. Anything, you know. It could be the Sunday, come up to 8 o'clock in the morning. Or I'm at Walmart. You know, I'm at Burger King. I'm trying a new chicken sandwich. Some st new stupid videos, you know. But people watch the things, though. Make these fools money. But like I say, they're not true to the game. They not true to the game. Well, they're hypocrites. They are hypocrites. They not not do what they're supposed to. They making that money for YouTube. If they're so into it, what they, they talk about the molestation thing, donate that money. Donate it. Give it to some kid foundation. Give it to some kind of place where kids need help. Do that. 
you know, and, and show some receipts to so all you dudes out here on, on YouTube make all this money. I say, now you're rocking gold chains now. You know, like, what's the dude named Young Pharaoh? Before he was, he was rocking all that. He wasn't had no, no, no white audience now. He told his white fans. First, it was Blue Eyed Devils and, and him and the dude said, I don't see, I don't see say no more. I'm, I'm talking about Pharaoh, dude, there, you know. Doing the Blue Eyed Devil stuff. Come on, dude. He knows there's no such thing as blue eyes anyway. Anyway, you see, now he's rocking gold, you know, and now these dudes, yes, in it for the money. They're all scammers. All of them are scammers, you know. All of them. They're not for your best interest. But if they did, they'll be giving knowledge out for free, or making visits and doing things like that. Start trying to get some money. Putting in their little cash apps up, some other shit like that. I wouldn't give dudes a, a goddamn dime, you know. I've not been talking that says going to be short, but no. It's my lunchtime, but I'll head out and get me some chow. But hold up, now, there's one more thing I talk about. What's that dude named my man Bill by him last year, too? This ain't no news I be thinking about, you know. Omar Johnson, his Frederick, Frederick, whatever school he's trying to make, that thing still ain't open. Omar, what's going on? What's, what's going on, Omar, huh? You open school or what? I seen the video. You no, know, you with a key put inside of a lock, twisting the lock, and walks out some abandoned place, dear. Man, come on. You need to give people back their money and stop, you no, know, stop scamming people. Word up. It's enough, man. It's enough. So he need more. He said he need more money. I said one video, dude was like, break him off some more donations. Like, he, he Debo. <laughs> he needs some more donations. Why you need more donations? And there's enough money you done scam other people. Every time I look, you in China, Africa, Barbados, all the other places you at London. So you, you, who's paying for these damn trips? All these donations, all these dumb people. Stop giving people all this money here. Because the school's not going to open. It's not going to be. But all oh, you a hater, you a hater. Yeah, they, they said hater last year. Where the, where the school at, you fools? And I'm out.